All right, I got dad in town this week. Hey, dad. Hey. He's going skiing. As if that wasn't what was happening right now, given that it's obvious that we're on a trail left. If you follow Forbes on social media, hopefully you're wildly entertained by them. I love I love following Forbes. It's one of my favorite accounts to follow. They had something super interesting on the other week that I wanted to bring to our attention. CDA, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. They were once boasted the one of the hottest real estate markets in the country and uh, was attracting Hollywood billionaires to the Kardashians, Bieber, Wahlberg, uh, Harry Styles. And they dubbed it North Hollywood. Who knew? CDA, North Hollywood. Had no idea this was going on. Just living in my bubble here in Ketchum. Yeah, Wall Street Journal in 21, dubbed it as one of the hottest housing markets in 21. And National Geographic uh, categorized the lake as one of the top five most beautiful in the world. I, who knew? Still, I'm, I'm still more of a redfish guy, but anyway. And uh, El Torres for that matter too. But this year they're expecting the housing market to plummet by 5%, making it ninth on the list for the 10 worst housing market in America. Plummeting, 5%. 5% categorized as a plummet. That, I don't even know if that would make a dent in, in, in the Sun Valley area. I mean, 5% is 50 grand off of every million. From 1 million to 950. I mean, that's like median ho housing price. The, the median sale price right now is a million bucks. That would be that would be dropping it down to 950. I don't know if that's enough for people to go, oh great, market's coming back. The word plummet seems to be loosely used in this article. And I, that was what stood out to me as uh, what an interesting thought to bring up. Uh, ninth worst, I mean, gosh, if anything, you know, if we plummeted 10%, that, I, don't, I still wonder if that would be enough to jack sales back up into 2020, 21 era. I, anyway, but uh, here's to wishful thinking.